Welcome back to Holder Flat. In this episode, we are back in the Northwest for round four of the Rally Sport Association's NI Summer Series here at Bally Kelly. In part one, it's all about the rally car classes as 108 crews prepare to tackle the longer five mile Shackleton layout, which proved to be popular amongst those competing in a recent poll. Making up that 108 entry, are none less than 14 juniors, 17 1600 16 valves in class 5, 21 in the 2 litre 16 valve class 7 and 8 R5 cars. The popularity of this super affordable rally sprint competition that the Rally Sport Association prides itself in just keeps going from strength to strength. So with a stunning day's forecast, it's time to put that stunning array of machinery to use on stage one. And the fastest man and machine over the opening stage is rally preparation specialist Ryan Lochran, driving his Fiesta Rally 2. And this very car took victory at last year's McRae stages at Knock Hill in the hands of Gary Pearson. Second fastest and debuting his newly acquired Fiesta R5 is Donegal's Liam McMullen. He sets a 554.7 to lie 8.5 seconds off the leader. In third, we find the PRH Construction Bath Shack Fiesta Rally 2 Evo of Portland owns Nile Henry. Nile stops the clocks just a smidgen over 6 minutes to set exactly 14 seconds off the leader Lochran. Just 0.9 of a second further back is the Wilson family's Hyundai i20 R5 and it's son Connor who wrestles his way round to fourth fastest time. In fifth we find the fastest of our two wheel drive runners, Bunkrana's Brian Quigley in his unique mid-engine Lotus Elise. Brian is flying in just 16.4 seconds off the leader and leading class 7. And we have a dead heat to round out the top six as Kevin Wilson in the I-20 R5 is tied on time with the Millington Mark II escort of Eugene Clark. But the dry weather should favour the powerful rear wheel drive escort's outright speed but it will most certainly be a day to watch those tyre temperatures.
Why here on stage 3, Ryan Lochran has pushed the lead gap out to 33.6 seconds and he's showing no signs of backing off at that. Liam McMullen's debut in his new toy is proving very successful and should definitely give him great confidence heading into the Donegal International later this month. Nal Henry still holds third place but is losing time to the two ahead. McMullen is now 13.1 up the road and leader Lochran is 46.7. Brian Quigley continues to lead the two-wheel drive brigade in fourth place and heads the competitive class seven. He even takes time out of third place Niall Henry here on stage three. Connor Wilson has slipped back a place to fifth overall and seems to be struggling with an ill-handling i20R5 that doesn't want to turn in. And rounding out our top six, no, it's not Mark Stewart, but it's the Rapid 205 of Jay Nevin. He leads class nine and is reveling in these dry conditions.
And just before we get to the final result, did you know that you can support Holder Flat by getting your video requests in after each event? Well, contact us on Facebook for all the info. And so let's check how it all panned out with the final results. In Class 1, the Juniors, third place went to Jake Miller. Reese McElhenney has to settle for second place after a nip and tuck battle with Sam Gorman who takes the victory by 1.6 seconds. In Class 2, Aaron McLaughlin brings that mighty micro home in third. Jack McDermott has a great drive to take second place. But the Class 2 victory goes the way of Ed Davis. On to Class 3, Graham Murphy's Nova takes third place. Second place goes to Ryan Gervin. But it was Adam Doherty's Micra that took the class victory. In Class 4, the hard charging Owen Kelly is out in his Corsa once again and takes third. Second place goes to the Mark II escort of Thomas Nevin. It was a clear cut victory in class 4 for William Fannin. In class 5, Brian Kelly makes it two third place trophies for the family today. Just one second up the road in second place was Adrian Sweeney. But it's once again a mental performance from Shea Rogers in the Nova, who takes the victory by over 40 seconds. In class 6, for the up to 2.18 fouls, Paul Flanagan takes third. It's Jordan Williamson who takes second place. But it's the 205 of Jonathan Strain who takes the victory. In the ultra competitive class 7, Damian Quinn comes home in third place. It's the beautiful Mark 1 of Stephen Nevin in second. But it's Brian Quigley's Lotus who takes the victory by 35 seconds. On to class 9 and Barry McLaughlin sideways mark 1 takes 3rd. Eugene Clark's mint mark 2 takes 2nd. And it's a big push from Jay Nevin and he takes the class 9 victory. On to the turbo cars in class 10 and Nigel Scott slides his way to 3rd. Ben McFall's Evo similarly slides its way to 2nd. But it all worked out on the day for Brian Haddock with the Class 10 victory. And finally on to our R5 and WRCs in Class 11 and Niall Henry takes third. A brilliant debut for Liam McMullen in second. But the Class 11 victory by 54.2 seconds goes to Ryan Lochran. And here's the top 10 after five stages completed. After a glorious day of rallying in the sunshine, we look forward to part 2 with the cross carts, minis and MX-5s. And we'll maybe see you out and about on the ground at the Donegal International on the 16th, 17th and 18th of June. So until then, hold her flat.